Our silver wedding and anniversary scrapbooking dazzles have 138 gorgeous acid-free and lignin-free stickers for you to work with, and they're all in our wedding and anniversary theme here. At the top of our header, you'll find an example project with some different inspiring ways to use these dazzles. And if you flip to the back of your package here, you're going to find even more ideas, different ways our designers have used the dazzle images um, to embellish their page layouts. Now you could also use these dazzles, although they are ideal for scrapbooking, on other paper projects. So we've got a sample card here for you, and you could add these to lots of other things as well, Sarah surfaces, mini books, album covers, boxes. Along the side here, you're going to find instructions for how to place your dazzles, as well as some tips on embellishing them. And down here at the bottom, you'll find a detail of all the images you're gonna find. So you've got those 138 pieces shown here. And you're also gonna get kind of a bonus because when you remove the images here, you're going to be left with some innies on your dazzle sheet. Now those can be cut out and then um, using a transfer sheet, they can be applied to paper and you get sort of a bonus extra image out of those. So you'll have your 138 pieces, but you're also gonna get some extras um, that will also be fun to play with. So let's go ahead and get right into our dazzles here and take a look. Now, although they're not limited to scrapbooking, these dazzles are specifically designed for 12 by 12 scrapbooking pages. As you open them up though, you're going to notice that you don't have a 12 by 12 sheet of dazzles. Instead, you've got three smaller six by nine inch sheets. And that's really handy. These are gonna be easier to work with and also easier for you to store. So go ahead and pull those out. And we'll take a look at some of our images here. You'll notice that you've got lots of different images on your dazzle sheet. You've got some large focal pieces. I'll go ahead and pull this back in here so you can see. You've got some words and phrases. You've got lots of smaller accent pieces. And you've also got some fun borders to play with. So let's take a look at placing some of these dazzles now. I'm gonna bring in some cardstock paper. And we're gonna take a look at placing first one of our large focal pieces. We're gonna take a look at this wedding dress here. So go ahead and start at one corner. I like to kind of bend the sheet a little bit to pop up that corner edge, use my fingernail to get it started. And once you get it started, you can just kind of pull it down. Now the dazzles will stick a little bit because they're stickers. Um, so it's normal for it to resist a little bit. If you get to any of these little swirls where it's really resisting, you might use your fingernail to pop that up so that you don't accidentally tear it off. But um, in general, these are pretty sturdy and you can really kind of tug on them quite a bit and they just peel right off. So again, if you get any little pieces that are resisting, go ahead and use your fingernail to pop those off. Otherwise, just keep pulling it until you've got your whole thing off and you'll notice you've got those innies left on your page that you could use later using a transfer sheet. Um, and you're, you've also got your main image here. So you'll see this is pretty sturdy. It's um, holding its shape pretty well, not flopping around too much. It's just sticking to my fingers. Um, and you can go ahead and place that down. I like to work. If there's no strong center, then I like to work from one of the corners or edges and then press it down. These dazzles are also luckily pretty forgiving. So if you end up with any funny bubbles or anything, you can kind of peel them back up and reposition them to get them into place. And you're really gonna appreciate the sturdiness of that material later on. Um, it does come in handy. So there you've got your dazzle placed on paper. Now you could do a variety of things with your dazzles. We've shown them 
mostly um, placed on colored backgrounds here. You could place them over white cardstock, colored cardstock, patterned paper. If you've got them on white or a light color of paper, um, here we've got one layered on pink. You could also go back through and embellish by using chalks, pens, inks, crayons, markers, um, anything to add a little color to it. Um, and then of course you've also got the option of layering on top of pattern papers or cardstock papers that are already colored. So that's placing one of those large focal images. Let's take a look now at the borders. So you have borders specifically designed for 12 by 12 scrapbooking. Go ahead and do the same thing we did before. Start at one edge and you're going to peel that off. Now you do have some of those fun swirls because this is an elegant theme to dazzle. You're going to find lots of those little swirls and you may have to help them out from time to time in getting started. Go ahead and keep pulling though. We're going to peel our border right up. Now you'll notice that this is not a 12 inch long border. This is a six inch border piece and all the border pieces will come like this. Um, it's easier to work with for one. You can imagine trying to place a 12 inch border would be a little cumbersome. Um, as well, you'll find that this is going to be helpful because you can kind of mix and match your borders. You've got a couple different border styles. Let's go ahead and place this border um, along this edge here. I'm going to line up one edge of my border and then place the rest of it down. And again, if you get any funny bubbles, you can just peel up the dazzle and smooth it back down. So that's part of the border. We'll take a look again at our sheet. You've got another one of those heart borders here, but you've also got some plain dotted borders. So let's use one of those now to complete our border. So this is also a six inch piece. When combined with the other one, it's gonna give us that full 12 inch border effect. Just peel it right off. And we'll want to come up here and line up the edge. We're gonna butt it up right against the edge of our other dazzle. And I can kind of hold that in place and then use my fingers to smooth it out. And you'll see you've got that full 12 inch border effect here. So lots of fun to mix and match those borders. And you can kind of choose as well if you would like to add this border instead to some photos or journaling. You've got those shorter lengths, but you always have that possibility to add that full length of border. So you've got lots of images. And I also want to point out that you're going to find yourself left with some pretty tiny innies, especially on this border here. And you can actually make use of those. Um, go ahead and use an X-Acto knife. You can just kind of pop them right off and place them onto your paper. If you get it just right, that X-Acto knife will just lift it right up. You don't need to peel it off. You're just kind of dipping the tip in. And these um, little dots are actually really fun to play with. You're also going to find some small bubbles here when you get into the champagne bottle. You've got um, some small bubbles here. So make use of that X-Acto knife so that you can take advantage of every piece that you find on your dazzle sheet. Um, and those really are a lot of fun to play with. So again, you've got really a lot of ideas here for different techniques to use, different ways um, to work with these dazzles. I've got one last tip to share with you and that is that especially with these silver dazzles it works really well to add a little color by inking them. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my plastic packaging back in and I'm going to peel off one of these dazzles, maybe this large heart dazzle. So this is just another way to embellish your dazzles or have fun with them. You can get creative and um, come up with your own ideas. You could try adding glitter or flocking to our dazzles. You could do really just about anything with them. 
They're very versatile. So I've got my heart image here. I'm gonna lay it down on my plastic. See, I'm even making use of the packaging here. And, oops, if it doesn't go down right the first time, they are very forgiving. Just peel it back up and start again. Once I've got it down, I can go ahead and bring in an ink pad and I'm gonna ink over the top of my dazzle. So I'm just gonna kind of paint that dazzle black. And working with especially the examples you're gonna find on the product packaging of wedding finish in a flash, there are a lot of those classic wedding colors. You're gonna find tan and black in there. And so adding um, some more dramatic color to your dazzles can be a fun way to work with those more classic colors. Now once I've got that colored, I'm gonna bring in um, some paper here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my dazzle back up and it comes off of this um, plastic backing pretty easily. So I'm just watching out again for those small swirls and things. They're an elegant touch and you just want to make sure that you don't rip any of those unintentionally. I am getting a little black on my fingers so I probably should have let that sit a little longer and you certainly may. But when we get it onto the ivory paper here, you're really going to get the full effect of what coloring that dazzle does for us. Let's go ahead finish getting it off the page here. So even if I've kind of scrinked it around as I was peeling it off there, it does fall right back into its original shape. And you can just place it on your paper and work from one side to the next, smoothing it down. If it sticks a little, you can adjust it. And you'll see how neat that final effect is of seeing that dark color in contrast to um, the silver dazzles on the darker background. So you've really got a lot of options. I'm sure you'll find even more when you start playing with these.